M0FXB, welcome to my channel, FTM500, let's do APRS. First thing we'll do is go into VFO mode with here. That's memory, VFO, and we're going to set the right frequency. Now, I have noticed that you do need to be on set the right band for APRS. So before we actually do this, we're going to hold down the F button, go to APRS modem, and we're going to turn it on, 76, push it. Now, if you hold it, you can create a shortcut. We're going to push it and at the bottom it says off and then we're going to turn it so it says on Then we're going to back out completely and what we want to be looking for is A12 and can you see it's put it on the B section so what you do now is press the up and down arrows here and it puts it on top uh, and then we need to set our frequency now because otherwise it, you know I can't actually see a thing that tells you if you're on the main or the subband Right, so what we're going to do now is go to VFO and then we're going to type in the frequency. I use the microphone, it's a lot quicker. One, four, five, eight, hundred. Okay, and that's the correct frequency in the UK for APRS. Also, you could use, you can hold your finger down, like so. You can just type the frequency. If you back out, you could also turn the large VFO knob. And just to note that the sub dial here on the right does change the frequency on the bottom one as well. And if you want, you can actually hold down the, I believe it's the two arrows, and it will actually put this frequency in the sub if you get it wrong. Anyway, that's the correct frequency. Next thing we're going to do is store that to our memory. So we don't want any shifts or any tones. They're all turned off. If you do have to turn them off, hold down, start around menu 26, I would say. 25 26 again if you hold the button down you can set shortcuts for these anyway 25 let automatic repeat a shift there turn you want to turn all that kind of stuff off okay so let's back out we've got no tones on we're going to put that into our memory i've already done it but we'll do another one hold down vm we we'll let it go to number six hold down the function button no hold down vm again and that's put it in there. We'll go to memory mode and it's there on number. We took, we change VFO, sorry, change memory channel with the large VFO. So we'll go to the one we just set, which was six. Now we're going to hold down VM again. We're going to turn the, the function knob back one. Hold, hold the large one, is it? Oh no. So press the function briefly, click go down with the function knob, two clicks, click edit, and then go down a couple of clicks, tag, and we can put in the word A, A, P, R, S. And then hold it, hold function knob. Okay, it's in there. Then what? two more clicks to the right, function, okay. Okay again, and it's in there. So we've got it in the memory, the right frequency, all set up. So let's back out. Make sure we're on channel number six, APRS, one four five eight hundred. So now hold down, we want to turn on the APRS modem and get our call sign in there. So go to menu 70, I believe it's 76. APRS modem, push the function knob and you get the option to turn it on or off. So on, I'm going to show you if you back out completely now. You've got A12 written, so you're in APRS mode. We now need to get our APRS call sign in. Once that's in there, it will, when you reboot, it will show it. But let's just go to call sign. So scroll down, call sign APRS, push the function knob. Now you can see it's already in there, M0FXB9. Push. And then you go along. So M, as you go along, putting in your call sign. Now I'll just show you when you get to the end bit regarding the number. Let's do that for you. Go across, 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 across. And look, the number's there. Hold down the function and it's in there. Now obviously there's lots of settings for APRS. I'm just going to show you enough to get this just working. So my position, 97. Push that. You can type in your position, or if we had a GPS lock, it would do it. Let's go back one. My position set. See, it says GPS on 96. Well, 96 here, GPS. You can choose GPS, push it again. 
it highlights it in red or you can put it in manually and then if we go down one push the function first go down one my position and then you can start adding your position so i'm north push the function and then we're going to go just put a rough one in 51 that'll do for now and then across 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 hold the function then go down with the function knob to longitude i am west so i go to the right with the function knob west and then i'm setting like naught then a two for me and that's near enough for me and i'll go all the way you put in your correct location gps if i get a lock then we wouldn't need to do this hold it again so we've now got a position in there go back we can choose our symbol at 98 we'll leave it a car for now you can change that position comment push the function knob off duty on route in service you know choose the one you like oh we won't i don't want to do emergency oh no i want to get away from emergency let's go back off duty i'm not going to do smart beacon in that's a whole nother message station list is is, is is what you've received you can look there i'll just show you that i received one for myself earlier like so I haven't worked out how to scroll through that yet because I know you can scroll and see more information. I'm not seeing how to do it. See what I mean? Anyway, let's go back into the menu. Message list, of, if you receive messages, you can look there. Station list, voice alert. My symbol, my position, message reply. You can, if you push, that's number 95. You can turn that on. I've already put a message in there. Look, reply is turned on. There's my call sign and a little hi. We've done call sign APRS. Digipath, not doing any of that at the moment. Beacon info. You can choose, you know, speed, course, altitude, and ambiguity means do you want it exactly as your location. APRS units, you can choose that as well. Kilometers, ETC. TX delay, if you're gonna have it in auto TX. APRS pop-up. My packet, I'm gonna turn that on. APRS mute, that's so you don't hear the sounds. I actually like it on. <laughs> okay, back. Hold it down again. And then you've got COM ports and that's it. So that's, that's it. let's back out and let's see if we can get it to TX. Now, if we hold it down again, there, well, there was a, uh, a menu there for APRS TX. Let's find that and then we'll create a shortcut. There it is there, 106 is APRS TX. So let's hold it down. And then we're gonna set it there. We can move it, we don't have to put it there, but we're gonna put it there for now, push it. And it's now there as a shortcut. So if I go back and grab my FT, um, FT5D, which is here, let's get it into simplex mode. Let's go back, hold this down, APRS. Again, we need the APRS turned on. It says APRS as the menu memory channel. I'm not seeing that that's in the right mode. They are FM, so we need to yeah, see the A12, we've turned it on there, but we're on the wrong frequency, so we'll go memory. I'm pretty sure I put that in again. Yeah, there it is there, 144800. Virtually the same settings. Have you noticed that you can actually, you know, you can actually set the the colour to blue there as well. So these two are very similar. They're, they're like, you know, brother and sister, if you ask me, these two radios. I, I absolutely love them both. I do like my FTM 400, but these are, you know, these are a very similar design. So let's do a, t a, a beacon. So if we push F and we'll beacon TX. And we're expecting to see that here, but we didn't. Oh, wrong frequency. Okay, so that's fine. We want 145. I know what we've done. This should be 144. So that's me, my mistake. 
Let's just edit. Sorry about that. So anyone watching, it's 144800. So we just go VFO, not concentrate and see. 144800. We can actually overwrite that memory channel. So we go like this. Go back to the wrong channel. Up one, if it lets me. No, it's not going to let me go up one. That's okay. We'll do a new one. It's not letting me. Just one sec. Let's try again. F beacon TX. We can tap the screen and you can see it's got it there. And we'll look at the details. Let's do it again. So we'll go shortcut beacon TX. There you are. It's showing everything because I deleted it all from the list. How do you delete? You just go F menu. Then go to station list. Hit the little grids here, look. And then you can delete stuff. See, so go back, go left to select delete. Okay, now let's send one from here to here. Now we need to delete the list here as well. So we'll go F menu, I'll find where that is in that to hold it down. And we'll find that we're looking for station list. So look, station list. There you are. And let's, I haven't deleted anything yet, so let's learn how to delete. I can see how we can we can look at things, but I can't see actually how to scroll through. I've pushed other buttons. I'm turning things. What we want to do is scroll through the rest of the information, but let's just have a look at how we can delete. So I discovered this, so you go hold it down, and go to station list, select it, and then if you push the sub dial, you get all these options. Look. Beacon TX. Raw, reply, delete. Pretty good, isn't it? So it's done. It's all done with these two with these two knobs, basically, with the sub and the and the function. There's your delete. All gone. So now, if I back out completely, now send a beacon. Go F menu here. Beacon TX. Ta da! And then with the sub, so nothing happens with the top one now, and it's telling me who did it. But if we press the sub dial, press the, this one first, function, then the sub, we can actually reply. Let's do a little message. Let's just go with the function knob, we go H. I, that'll do. Push the function knob again. And then we'll see if we can send it. Where's send? Message TX. Hey, look, we've got a message and it's flashing. Let's reply. Oh, it, it might have auto reply because I think I set it to auto reply. So let's look at that message. Hold it down. Message list now, 104. <laughs> Brilliant, and it's something here as well when you push the function. I think that's auto reply, so let's go reply. Message, see if it, they start talking to each other. Will it reply automatically? Yeah, something happened. <laughs> so there you go, that's it, that's, that's, that's APRS. I know there's a lot more to APRS. And there's um, 